All right, squad, I think it's every airsofter's dream to scream planting claymore while planting a claymore. This is an airsoft claymore you can buy on Amazon. I've had this for two years now. We've been playing with it. This is actually our second one. We broke the other one that we had. And I kind of wanted to go over the pros and cons of this Amazon product. I think it's worth kind of talking about. It's gotten a lot of attention on my channel, uh, my shorts that I did on it. There's a ton of people that commented on it. I think the video has like 50,000 views. So I think it is time that I give you all a rundown of this product since we've done some extensive testing. Now, it comes with a charger battery. It comes with a detonator right here and it comes with a key and it also has a trip wire. This little key is very important. You wanna hang on to that, don't lose it. Um, yeah, but anyways, let's look at the anatomy of this Claymore. So right here, we've got our feet that fold down. You can then plant this in the ground um, and it works great when you do that. Just don't bend these, make sure you're pressing straight down. Your supports are back, you kind of angle it like this. So you get kind of an arcing pattern with your, your BBs loading your BBs. When it comes time to load right here in the front, you just use your speed loader and speed load right in that hole. When it's completely filled with BBs, you just close that like that. And now it is, now it's closed front towards enemy. That makes sense, right? Up here in the top, there is a hole right there that is on the trigger. Basically you can run a trip wire through there. I think the trip wire is the best way to use this. The detonator is absolutely garbage. If you want this to actually like, if you want to get someone and not get blasted yourself, Trip wire is going to be the way to go. Now, before we go any further talking about that, most fields will not let you set up a claymore or any type of booby trap with a trip wire going across that you can't see. I don't know if fields will even allow you to use uh, a claymore or anything like that that has a trip wire on it. Like it's just a liability tripping someone. Uh, you just got to be careful of that. The detonator, put this off to the side. So the detonator. This thing, I was 20 feet away and I could get it to work, but you would sit there and you just keep hitting the uh, the trigger time and time again, and it would not go off. It just had a real difficult time sensing with both of those. This isn't just one. Both of the ones that I owned, uh, it was not consistent. When it, when it went off, it was awesome. I mean, it was something that I could physically, I could see it, sit there, detonate it. I obviously had to be close. So it's like someone would have to be coming in a room. You'd have to be in the same room. And at that point, it's just kind of pointless. Just yeet them, you know? So um, kind of pointless. It does it does work though. It, it, it really works well if you're setting it up as a booby trap. If you are going to plant your claymore, run your trip cord or your trip line across for 40 bucks, it is a great freaking claymore. And it works too. Like, I mean, someone trips it and it's on a, 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 narrow, a nice narrow path. You've got it set up no problem. I don't see any issues there. It'll, it'll definitely knock out your, your targets. So the key that I was talking about right here, this little guy that goes in once the claymore is loaded. So we're going out on the field and, uh, before we plant it, have that key in that will keep everything locked. It'll actually keep the clamshell closed. So, um, it doesn't, it doesn't open on you when you're setting it. Cause that would be absolutely terrible if that were to happen. Um, see if I can hold this and not have it break my, break my fingers, but if you would, uh, hang on. All right, so it's probably gonna fly out of my hands, but I'll kind of give you a rundown. On the top, there is an L-shaped bracket that kind of like holds the clamshell closed. And when you pull on the trigger, it cantilevers it and lifts it up. So basically a trip cord opens and that springs open like that. So that is the mechanism that would shoot the BBs out. To close it, you basically just fold this and this in towards each other. Do you think you'd load nerfs in here? Yeah. You could? Yeah. No way. What, three nerf darts? No, five. Five nerf darts? So right there's the advertisement on Amazon. They're saying that you can load nerf darts in here. I don't think I don't think you could load nerf darts in here. So anyways, getting back to it, your on-off switch is right there. So got some shadows, but it's right there. And the battery compartments here in the back. So in the back we have battery door and then a clip to mount it to your your body if you wanted to mount that to some molly webbing. I mean, heck, you could just throw this on your vest and just freaking yeet somebody at close range to the indoor field. I don't know. So there is the brief overview on this. Uh, like I said, talking talking to some of the other guys, uh, most fields aren't gonna let you, most fields aren't gonna let you set this up as a booby trap. So. Um, is it worth, if you're playing in your own backyard or you're playing somewhere where it's not really an issue, I would say go for it. That is a great 
uh, option. It's really fun. Make sure you have permission from the field owner before taking anything out there like that. Like I said, huge liability running any type of trip wire. If you can't see it, hey, and if you get one that actually actually works, it still, it still works, one that actually works, uh, that would be awesome. Uh, like I said, some fields will, if you can see it and you can hit it, you might be able to use it. So something like that, I really don't see fields having an issue with. Obviously, that's just my opinion. I'm a guy on YouTube and, you know, don't trust me. I'm not a legal expert or anything like that. And you don't know what the field's insurances will allow. That's something else you got to keep in mind. I hear crazy questions every time I'm at the field. Um, one of the biggest questions off topic, but talking about insurances, people will ask, oh, well, why can't I use uh, smoke grenades that are actually like the 4th of July ones where you light them and it's the five minute smoke or 10 minute, whatever smokes. Um, you can't have an open flame. It's, it's it, You can't have that. So the cannon fuse that's on there will end up catching something on fire. And that's a huge liability and the insurance companies will not allow that kind of stuff. So you can't do it. That's why. Um, <laughs> short answer. Anyways, back to, back to the Claymore. I think, I think they're pretty cool. I think if you want a cool piece of kit, it, it's worth the 40 bucks. Obviously get that permission from the fields. First, I have yet to take anyone out with it. That's something that I really want to do. So yeah, thank you for, thank you for checking out the video. I'm going to end it here. There's not much else to really talk about the Claymore. Obviously down in the comment section, you can, you can ask those comments, but, um, detonator sucks. The battery is terrible. The charger, meh, the charger's the charger. I mean, there's nothing to really talk about there. Fit and finish of the Claymore itself. The fit and finish isn't terrible. It looks really good. It looks really cool. Um, as a booby trap, works awesome. So that's it, guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, Charlie.